Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Todd Roland from Alderac Entertainment Group looking at Mystic Veil. Vale. It's a big release for 2016 by designer John D. Clare, uh, which you hinted at. I remember mm-hmm. talking with you at least a year ago. Yes. It might have been longer. No, it was probably about a year, a year ago. We've been working on it for about a year now. That's right. It was this very special system mm-hmm. of how you're going to play and you got to figure out the best way to do it. Exactly. The, we're calling it the card crafting system. It's where uh, you play deck builders. Like mm-hmm. We've had plenty of deck builders. Everybody's had deck builders. This is where you not only build the deck, but you're building the card. Okay. Um, you, every player starts with a 20-card deck, which you're not actually going to add or subtract any cards from that deck through the whole game, but you're going to continually opt optimize those 20 cards okay. within the deck toward whatever strategy you're going to take. Now, the way we've done this is with uh, tarot-sized cards uh, with sleeves and these clear plastic cards that have different effects on them that you're going to sleeve into it. Okay. So on a player's turn, they're going to have their hand of cards, and every player has a different deck with a different back on it, so you know who's is who's. And you're going to reveal cards from your deck one by one to get uh, your income. Okay. Okay. And you may reveal that some cards are blank at the beginning because you don't have anything yet. Different things like this. You notice there's cursed lands because in this game you are a druid attempting to bring life back to the veil, to the mystic veil. Um, you'll notice some cards have these little red symbols right there. Those are called decay. Then a bit of a push your luck. You can keep revealing cards off your deck to get more resources and more effects, but if you ever reveal a fourth decay, you've spoiled and you lose everything for the turn. Okay. So you want to try to get as far as you can without going too far. So if let's say I had three of them out, I might want to stop here. I would have two income for that turn to buy a card. Now this is not the full tableau of what you get to buy. There'd be there'd be plenty more to choose from, and there's also some basic cards like fertile soil that only cost two and Right. make an income for you. But anyway, let's just assume I could buy some of these. So I would buy the uh, the Int Elder. I would take any of the cards that I've played that turn, and I would sleeve him into that card. So now that card makes two okay. income. It also has one decay. You see that? Yep. All right, move more center. And then it also has these symbols. Now, the reason the symbols are important is if I can get certain amounts of symbols in a run, I can buy these cards over here called the Veil Cards. Veil cards are your basically your victory point cards. Okay. They either give you victory points or they give you permanent abilities. So, for instance, this one gives you a permanent peace symbol. For every peace symbol you have in play or you reveal, there are little green trees. It cancels a, de- uh, a decay, so that's you push a little bit farther for every time. You can set up combos on cards that clean off their their decay and different things like that. Okay. Finally, I could take this card on another turn when I played this one. If I bought it and sleeve it in. And now the card has a new ability that it does every time it's played. It has a piece built in that cancels that decay, so that's a free card for me now. Okay. And I'll have all these different effects. Um, different cards interact with each other. Cards that have guardian symbols will interact with other cards you may play to get more effects. And it's all about focusing on what you're trying to do. Some people will make very risky cards with a lot of decay and just play a few cards every turn. Other people will try to keep as much peace as they can so they can do huge runs of all their cards okay. um, and different effects like that. Uh, you play until um, you play until all of, a, uh, all of the uh, advancement cards for that game are bought, okay. at which place the game ends and everyone totals up there. Their victory points to determine who wins. Okay. The game comes with 80. Every game comes with 80 cards because there's uh, 20 cards per player. And it comes with 100 sleeves. So if you ever have a breakage or a tear, you've got extra sleeves in there. And they are basic tarot size sleeves, so you can always get more. Um, and we are just, we're really excited about this game. Um, everyone who's tried it uh, becomes just addicted to it really fast. You know, you want about, about the third round, you want to play again because you're like, okay, I get it. I need to start sleeving this way. Um, and <laughs> we're just very excited about it. We've already got an expansion in the works for later uh, on this year. And uh, we can't wait. It's coming out in June of this year. Okay. June of 2016. Mm. Eric likes right, years okay. and dates. Yes, yes. Uh, can you build over what's already there? You cannot actually build over what's already there. That's a rule. Once okay. you've committed a card to something, so you're you can't, always going to have some cursed land. That's you're always going to have some cursed land. Yeah, that you're going to have to deal with. Now, other cards things. in your deck will be blank, so you could start those, you know, from nothing and build them however you chose. Right. But then, but so for instance, I could not play this guy because he would end up covering up that aurora. Okay. So. All right. Interesting. Yeah, and that is Mystic Veil. I'd say we have an expansion coming out to it. And we have another game in the works using the card crafting system that will come out uh, most likely early next year that takes the card crafting system and then it puts it into a much bigger scale game. Well, it seems like it definitely is applicable to many. It, it's 
it's not the game itself. It is right. a tool that can be used in, I'm sure, many right. different ways. Oh, we're very excited, but we have a lot of different ideas of ways we're going to take it. Okay. So. All right. Thanks for the overview. Right. Thank you.